guys, this is Spencer with On Live Nation, and uh, I'm just going to be doing a quick playthrough with a, try to get through all the uh, 2012 Indie Showcase uh, On Live games. Um, and if you're not aware of what's going on, uh, I'll put a link up uh, in the description. You could go to the On Live fans forums and read more about that, uh, discuss it, so forth. Um, if you don't know what else is going on this week, we also got a uh, Limbo was released, six ninety nine. Um, haven't really checked it out too much yet. It's looking pretty cool. Uh, I'll be going back to that hopefully later in the week and talk about that a little bit more. Um, there's also a sale going on with uh, Square Enix and see that's been going on for a little while now, and then also Sega. Uh, Right, and the easiest way to get to these is just to go right through the showcase, and it will bring you to all those games. Uh, so, because really the only other one uh, that's in the play pack right now is the Adam Zombie Smasher. Let's see. I'm just going to be going through these uh, alphabetically. Um, this one actually came out a little sooner, but it is part of that. Uh, because this came out on the 20th. Right, and you can see this is one of the few that have uh, controller support, and I know uh, it's an issue for a lot of people. Um, and, and there's quite a few in this, so can't complain too much. Uh, one of them actually does have touch support, but all of them are obviously support uh, keyboard and mouse. So I'm just jump into this one. Um, I've really only gone through a couple of these and played. I've actually haven't played this one yet, so uh, it's really a first impression kind of video. So we can help you guys get a feel for them if you haven't checked them out yet. Try out this game a little bit to just kind of figure out the mechanics of it. Um, as you go along, you'll see your mercenary roster right here growing. Uh, your first level, you're just going to have this peasant, peasant. Uh, it's evacuation helicopter, and uh, if you don't know yet, this is kind of like a tower defense game, um, but you're actually acting out uh, evacuation strategy for a zombie attack, uh, which is definitely a pretty cool idea. Um, I could definitely see me playing this a lot more in the future. Uh, graphically, it's not very impressive, but I really like the art style in it. Um, a lot of uh, still animations comic book feel to it. Alright, so I'm just gonna jump into a board here and show you uh, mechanics and kind of give my opinion on what makes this a good game and where it's kind of annoying. Um, <coughs> see, I'm placing the helicopter right now. I'm in the planning phase. Right now I'm finding the best strategy is to place the helicopter towards the middle, um, try to get as many out as you can before the zombies move in too far. And, uh, this just has to go on top of the building of your artillery, which you'll get in the second map you play. Um, let you just hear pretty much just slow down the zombies, uh, can't really stop them. Uh, this is a evacuation game, so keep that in mind. This is your rooftop uh, sharpshooters, which so basically your uh, snipers you're going to set on a rooftop uh, similar to the artillery, and then you're actually going to pick their line of sight, um, which definitely is adding a very interesting. Extra bit of strategy to the game um, from the beginning. And 
to get an idea of how the snipers are going to work. That's uh, basically just slowing them down. While this is going on, you should be controlling your artillery and aiming. Um, it takes a minute to fire and to load. So you got to shoot ahead, which is going to be important. Um, I gotta remember too, you can't leave your evacuation point in one spot. Uh, eventually it is gonna get overrun. Um, I definitely should have moved it sooner, but obviously I forgot to. Um, so this game is definitely gonna keep you busy while you're in it. Like I said, graphically it's you know unimpressive, uh, but it, it definitely plays well. Um, you know, it was really just a short video. Um, I'd be glad to play through it farther. Uh, so you can really get a better idea for it. But uh, you, this is definitely a game you should uh, be playing. And really, my only complaint about it is it's not very forthcoming in teaching you. Uh, you have to yeah, read about it. It's I mean, it's all in the game. It's easy to find. It's, so it's really not a huge flaw in the game. Um, it's definitely a unique uh, type of gameplay. I haven't really played anything like it before. I mean, there's tower defense games, but this really isn't a tower defense game. It's a evacuation RTS, I would say. Um, so... If you're gonna try one of them out, I definitely say this is a good place to start. And it's, you know, the first ones that shows up, so that seems appropriate.